Welcome to the Astro Panel 2025 tutorial, the latest version of our advanced Photoshop extension, designed specifically for photographers and astrophotographers. In this video, we'll explore the features and enhancements introduced in this release, from the installation phase to advanced photo editing tools. Astro Panel 2025 is only compatible with Adobe Photoshop CC from version 2021 to 2025 on Windows, Intel Max, and Apple Silicon M1234. Start. Download Astro Panel from our website. From your account dashboard, go to the application section, where you will find the latest stable version of Astro Panel 2025 available for download. Download the file by clicking on Download. Explaining the installation process. First, let's see how to install the extension. After downloading the file from our website, unzip or open the package in .zip format. Explain you will find the file with the extension. CCX. Double-click the file and Adobe Creative Cloud will automatically install the extension in Photoshop. Once installed, open Photoshop, go to the Plugins menu, and select Astro Panel 2025. Easy, right? Now let's explore the main modules of the extension. Astro Panel 2025 consists of four main modules, Tools, Astro, Export, and Fusion. These modules are designed to meet the needs of landscape photographers, astrophotographers, and those who need advanced image processing tools. Let's take a closer look at each module. Tools module. In the Tools module, you'll find everything you need to edit landscapes and general photographs. You can adjust white balance, color tones, noise reduction, and sharpness with a single click. There are tools to recover detail in shadows and highlights, as well as creative effects like Orton and Glow for a soft, dreamlike touch. In addition, a full range of digital noise and hot pixel reduction tools are available. Astro Panel 2025 introduces a series of modal windows for advanced customization of effects. Here are some of the most important ones. Color and Cast This panel offers advanced color correction tools, allowing users to adjust shadows, midtones, and highlights with separate sliders for cyan, magenta, yellow, and red, green, and blue colors. In addition, it includes options for color balance correction and a toggle to turn on white balance. There are also sliders to adjust vibrance and saturation. In addition, the controls in detail. Shadows. This section allows you to adjust the dark tones of the image separately for colors. Allows you to balance or add specific hues to shadows. Midtones. Here you can change the midtones of the image, acting on the colors. These controls help to improve color rendition in the intermediate areas of the image. Highlights. In this section, sliders allow you to adjust the highlights, enhancing the colors in the brightest areas of the image. Correct Color Balance. This option allows you to correct the color balance. The Active White Balance toggle activates an automatic white balance, useful for compensating for unwanted tones and the Preserve Highlights button creates a brightness mask to protect highlights. Vibrance. The Vibrance slider allows you to increase the vibrance of colors, emphasizing dull colors without oversaturating already vibrant ones. It is especially useful for achieving a natural look. Saturation. The saturation slider allows you to control the overall intensity of the colors in the image. Increasing saturation makes colors more vibrant, while decreasing it makes them more subdued. RGB cast. This section gives you direct control over the levels of red, green, and blue. Adjusting these sliders allows you to eliminate any color casts, better balancing the image. 
This panel provides detailed control over color management, ideal for advanced color corrections and achieving perfect balance on each tonal area of the image. The Remove Artifacts tool is designed to eliminate unwanted visual distortions, such as haze and chromatic aberrations, from your images. Haze Slider helps to reduce haze or fog that can blur details, improving the clarity and contrast of the image. It's especially useful for images taken in low light or natural haze, allowing you to achieve a sharper look. Chromatic Aberration Slider addresses chromatic aberrations, also known as color fringing, a type of distortion often visible along the edges of objects in high contrast areas. By adjusting this slider, you can reduce or eliminate these color fringings, ensuring sharper contours and more accurate colors. This tool is ideal for achieving cleaner and more precise images, correcting visual defects that can compromise the overall quality of the photo. Saturation, this modal window is designed to handle saturation masks in RGB color channels. Each column allows you to adjust the saturation of the red, green, and blue masks, giving you control over highlights, midtones, and shadows via dedicated sliders. Each saturation level can be disabled individually, and settings can be quickly reset. Red masks, this column allows you to manage the saturation of the red channel. Lights, slider to adjust the saturation of the lights in the red channel. The disable option allows you to temporarily disable the effect. MID, slider to adjust the saturation of the midtones in the red channel, also with an option to turn it off. DRKS, slider to manage the saturation of shadows in the red channel, with the possibility to disable the effect. Green Masks, this column provides saturation control for the green channel. Lights, adjusts the saturation of the lights in the green channel. The Disable option can temporarily exclude the effect. MID, slider for midtones in the green channel, with the option to turn off. DRKS, slider for shadows in the green channel, with the ability to disable it. The Disable Masks, this column allows you to change the saturation of the blue channel. Lights, controls the saturation of the highlights in the blue channel, with the ability to disable the effect. MID, adjusts the midtones in the blue channel, with an option to turn them off. DRKS, adjusts the saturation of shadows in the blue channel, with the option to turn it off. RGB Saturation Slider At the bottom there are the saturation sliders for each RGB channel, red, green and blue, which allow you to adjust the overall saturation of each channel. Each has a disable option to turn off color masks completely if needed. This setup allows precise control over saturation for each tonal area in RGB channels, giving you detailed color management in the image. Noise Manager, this panel is focused on noise reduction and offers sliders for strength, details, color noise, and sharpening. There is also a checkbox option to remove JPEG artifacts, which is especially useful for compressed images. Here is the detailed description of the commands. Strength, controls the overall intensity of noise reduction. A higher value significantly reduces visible noise, but it can sacrifice some fine details. A lower value preserves detail, but may leave more noise in the image. Details, determines the level of detail that is maintained during the noise reduction process. A higher value preserves textures and edges, but may reduce the effectiveness of the noise filter. A lower value focuses more on noise reduction, but it may blur details. 
Color noise manages the reduction of color noise, which is the noise caused by random color changes in pixels. This control is especially useful for images shot in low light or at high ISO settings. Sharpening applies controlled sharpness to compensate for any loss of detail caused by noise reduction. A higher value intensifies edges and details, but overuse may create visible artifacts. Remove JPEG artifacts. This option allows you to eliminate blocks and irregularities resulting from JPEG compression. It is especially useful for images saved with high compression, improving their overall visual quality. These controls work together to offer a balance between noise reduction and detail retention, resulting in a cleaner, more natural image. Hot Pixels, this modal window is designed to identify and remove hot pixels in images. It includes sliders to adjust radius, threshold, and blur intensity, allowing users to precisely control the removal process. Let's analyze these commands together. Radius, this control determines the area around hot pixels that will be analyzed and modified. A smaller radius focuses on specific pixels in very limited areas, ideal for precise corrections. A larger radius extends the effect to a larger area, which is useful for images with more diffuse distributions of hot pixels. Threshold, the threshold defines the level of brightness or intensity that a pixel must reach in order to be considered warm and therefore correct. Lower threshold values identify and modify more pixels, including those with minimal differences, while higher values focus only on the brightest pixels. Blur intensity, this control applies a blur to the pixels around the hot ones to make the transition smoother and more natural. A lower intensity retains surrounding details, while a higher intensity produces a smoother, softer effect that is useful for removing visible blemishes. The sharpness tool applies an unsharp mask effect, which is commonly used to improve the sharpness and detail of an image. The amount slider controls the sharpening effect, making edges sharper and enhancing fine details. The radius slider determines the size of the area around the edges that will be sharpened, a lower radius focuses on thin edges, while a higher radius affects larger details. The threshold slider adjusts the level of contrast needed to apply sharpness, allowing you to focus the effect on high contrast areas, leaving the smoothest areas intact. Boost and Contrast this tool is used to improve the overall quality and impact of an image by adjusting brightness and contrast. The boost slider increases brightness, accentuating the brightest areas and giving the photo a more vibrant and dynamic look, highlighting details in the highlights. The amount slider adjusts contrast, reinforcing the difference between light and dark areas. This adjustment makes colors more intense and adds depth to the image. By balancing boost and amount, you can create a more dramatic, three-dimensional effect, ideal for photos that need an extra touch of vibrancy. Orton, the Orton window offers a wide range of customization options to handle both dark and bright areas, allowing you to refine your image with great precision. Dark section Depth, this slider adjusts the depth of dark areas, accentuating or reducing the soft gradient effect typical of the Orton effect. Radius, controls the area of influence of the effect, applying a wider or smaller blur on dark areas. Contrast, adjusts contrast in dark areas to highlight or soften details in these areas. Light section. Depth, acts on the depth of the bright areas allowing you to adjust the intensity of the glow effect on the highlights. 
radius, determines the size of the blur effect on light areas, changing the spread of light. Contrast, adjusts the contrast in bright areas to create a brighter or softer effect. Red, green, blue, these sliders allow you to separately adjust the red, green, and blue color channels for dark and bright areas, allowing for detailed color balance. This tool is ideal for creating the signature glow effect, adding soft blur and distinctive contrast, perfect for achieving an ethereal and dreamy look in your photos. Glow, the glow window offers simple-to-use sliders to control depth, radius, and contrast, allowing you to quickly add a soft lighting effect to your images. Detailed description of the controls. Depth, this slider adjusts the depth of the glow effect, affecting the intensity of the brightness diffused in the image. Radius, controls the area of diffusion of the glow effect. A larger beam creates a wider light spread, while a smaller beam keeps the effect smaller. Contrast changes the overall contrast of the glow effect, allowing you to accentuate the edges or achieve a more nuanced look. Red, green, blue, these sliders allow you to adjust the levels of red, green, and blue in the glow effect, allowing you to balance color tones and further customize the look of your image. Battoise. Reset slider, returns all sliders to their default values, allowing for quick resetting of changes. Reset channels, reset RGB levels to initial values for color balance. This tool is perfect for those who want to add a touch of soft brightness to their photos while maintaining complete control over the color tones. The Kill Gradient window is specifically designed to remove unwanted gradients from photos with just a few clicks. Detailed description of the controls. Depth, this slider adjusts the intensity of the gradient removal. A higher value acts more aggressively on gradients, reducing color or light variations in the image. Radius determines the area of influence of the gradient removal effect. A larger radius allows you to cover a larger surface area, which is useful for large gradients, while a smaller radius focuses the effect on smaller areas. This tool is ideal for photographers who want to eliminate sharp gradients, resulting in a more balanced and natural look in their images. Astro Panel 2025 is designed to give you maximum control over your photography, whether you're editing landscapes or creating incredible astronomical photographs. With its powerful toolset, advanced modal windows, and user-friendly interface, it allows photographers to focus on creativity, speeding up their post-production workflow. For more tutorials and tips, visit our website and YouTube channel.